Okay. What we have here is a series of original powder horns dating back to the French Indian War. That would be 1752-1761. This would be from the French Indian War. This leather's original. This shows the age. It got worn out and somebody pushed it a little hard. They all hand carved a beautiful little powder horn. This this string is original, going back to the 1700s. I don't know, I would never have put this on there because this is counterfeit. This is original. These two horns here were used for one of two things on a ship. For the cannons, you needed larger powder horns with more powder capability. So this was probably used on a ship or out in the field with one of the cannons. Now, some of these are hand engraved. They have pictures on them. They're a little bit more money. Here again, this says this is BH powder horn. This is, this is Rev War. This is Rev War. Handmade, this has got some carvings on it. This is French Indian War. This has got some neat carvings on it. Very early, hard to see. French Indian War. This is a Revolutionary War. A beautiful little piece. Now those are powder horns. Now there are some other methods they used for powder. This is one. This is Rev War. They take two pieces of leather when they couldn't get one. They sew it, stitch them together, put their powder in here, and put a wood plug in, and carry this in their necessary bag. During the Civil War, the government bought these, and it'll have the U.S. government on it, it'll have their flags on it, it'll have the, usually the eagle up here. This is 1750 to 1766. Um, they made, I think, 1,500 of these for the Civil War. Uh, they may have done it several times, but even when you find the Civil War ones are beat up, but this is really good shape. So these then are all the types of powder horns used during the Rev French Indian Rev War and the War of 1812.